Now imagine with a skin like Oni 2.0, you also get a Viper skin that matches the Oni 2.0. Or, you know, let's move away from fan-made content and just look at what Riot posts themselves. You know, a little agent teasers, little agent artworks with different outfits that could very well be right in the game. Now what's crazy is later this week I was going to release a video called Agent Skins. You know, it has a mock-up. We were going to discuss everything to do with them. And, you know, this is kind of where the channel's headed. Yesterday I did uh, Agent Leveling System. You guys loved it. Thank you for the support. It does truly mean a lot no matter how cliche that sounds, but instead I'm deciding to push this video out early. And the biggest reason is because Riot themselves, Valorant, tweeted this. In the eye of the storm, there is quiet, comfort, even kinship. And it's kind of blowing up, not gonna lie. Um, and a lot of people are now leading to speculate. Is this agent skins? Is this something to do with agent skins? And to be honest, there's no true way to confirm. It looks more like a poster related to the latest episode. And you know, Jet looking kind of scary, but if you were to kind of gloss over this poster, it definitely looks kind of like a fashion poster, especially these two right here being Raze and Killjoy, especially after their confirmation of being a couple, having this semi-matching blue outfit. And, you know, I mean, they're, they're looking kind of cute in these outfits, and it definitely looks like an outfit. It's hard to explain. It looks straight up like they're both posing in fashion. They're posing for the outfit. Now, could this just be a merch drop of Valorant? Could it just be more marketing for the newest episode? It could be, but the way it is, top down, even having these nice little kicks, it definitely could be agent skin teasers. And this is where we're gonna lead into the second part of the video, talking about agent skins, talking about a mock-up I made and what they could entail for Valorant and if I believe they'll come one day. So the biggest thing is agent skins themselves aren't the desire that's new. Here we have Sage, Jet, Viper, and Raze. They all look fantastic in these agent skins, of course made by an artist, but then we even have these things official from Valorant slash Riot themselves. And they aren't literally just the agents and official artwork, but they're actually shopping for clothes, trying on different clothes and i think this this entails a lot this 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 and how much they blow up like even in the latest uh, episode when we saw battle sage people loved it people always talk about agent skins every single time riot drops one of these and why not they look gorgeous they look amazing they transform the character and agents are the heart and soul of valent and the community doesn't end there we have even just little light mock-ups and while these are nothing super 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 crazy they still go to show how much they can change an agent while not losing its recognizability they mean a lot to players at least in my opinion right Right? If I'm like a jet main or a Reina main, um, I would love to change the outfit of the agent, customize it, and make it a little bit more personal. And heck, think about the poster. Imagine if I was a Reina main and I have someone else who is a Raze main and there's someone else who's a jet main and we trio often and they make, they drop like a pack, a collection where all three have very similar matching outfits and you can like match outfits with your trio. Come on, dude. That would be so freaking sick. And imagine something like this Phoenix one is thematic with the Elder Flame right like they come as bundles that would be so sick that would be so freaking sick and here is my mock-up personally so basically at the bottom there's actually an empty space in it like in Valorant there's a nice little empty space at the bottom so I filled it in with what I call agent outfits obviously they shouldn't be called agent skins that would be very very weird it should just be called agents or agents outfits and there's a little bit of a preview of ones you have selected you click them you can go through every single agent and heart slash favorite your favorite ones and then it would cycle through them right here I have the very first uh, poster as well as some of the other teasers jet Viper, Sage, Neon, as well as Rays, and I think they would be freaking fantastic. But even with the artwork aside, even with the hype of the community aside, the next biggest thing is what would it entail? How would skins come out? What would be their price? What would be their tier list? And biggest thing, would it affect competitive integrity? That's the big one. Let's get into it. So starting with the pricing structure, I think this one's the easiest uh, prediction or question to answer. Of course, I'm not a writer. Uh, sometimes I feel like I'm talking like I'm one. Please keep in mind, I'm just a content creator with big visions and I really want Valorant to be better every single day. So that's why I have this channel, the second channel from Valorant Creators. Okay, on with it. The big thing here is I believe the simplest form would just to be at match the gun skin collection, have the very same tiers, starting from rare up to whatever, the top, top tier, like the Z collab. They could use that exact, exact same thing with varying amounts of detail. Now, even if they use the same rarity, the price will be a very sticky topic because one, not as only first person, so you'll only see stuff, let's say like Jet's gloves or the hand of the agent, but furthermore, you can't add a lot of effects to skins, except maybe on the gloves similar to gun skins that only you can see in first person. Like imagine if they gave Reyna a little bit of a ring. So when you pull in that dismiss, it's like 
a little bit like RGB around the ring or a new blue aura, but only you can see it, so it's not a huge deal. That would be freaking sick, and they could price skins a little more aggressively that way, especially if they're good with making variants and recolors of those skins, then it could be great. Um, but unless they were to make bundles, they can't price each one individually too high. They'd have to do them single-handedly. Maybe they could still come with gun buddies and banners, as well as like three or four agent skins. That would be freaking cool. That's a way they could price them more aggressively. There's a lot of different ways Riot can approach them. I think the best way is bundling it based off of uh, not only lore, but even enemies. Could be really, really cool. Like lore slash enemies slash what we see in team comps. You know, team comps could be really cool as well. But again, right? Like, like... Just, I don't know, I'm trying to think. Valorant's couple. Let's say that Rays and Killjoy one could be a small bundle called Valorant's favorite couple or something like that. They have those two outfits. They have chromas, which change their, uh, I called them chromas, <laughs> League of Legends. Uh, they have variants that change their color schemes. They have no effects. Um, and then they can be priced a little bit cheaper and it's only two skins, but then they could have some like crazy big one. You know how they had the Team Ace collection? Let me actually pop that up on screen real quick. Instead, we have something like Ray's Phoenix, Reyna, Jet, and Yoru, and the Team Ace collection, right? All duelists, go get your Ace, they theme it around that, but instead these, 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 these skins weren't that great for gun skins, but have these same thematic themes on, let's say, Yoru's jacket or, you know, Rays and Reina's different outfits. Like, I don't know, when it comes to agency, it's just a little bit different, right? You put these nice little styles, right? Like Rays and jeans, ripped jeans, for example, with a nice little style that matches the Team Ace uh, aesthetic. It would look really, really cool and wouldn't even need variants. Instead, it could literally just be a straight up bundle for the four of them, one variant, no effects, they don't have to hopefully sell them overpriced. Knowing Valorant, they'd be at least $10 each, like a $40 collection. Or knowing them, $20 each, $80, we can all cry. But I digress. I cannot fight for the pricing in a game that really inflated their pricing and everyone's already accepted it. I mean, the fact we're all cool with Radiant Knight, and when I talk about it, people tell me to get over it, is kind of telling of the current community and its mindset. Not too much I can say about it. Regardless, pricing aside, there is definitely infinite possibilities when it comes to what they can put together. Now, the very final topic we should get into real quick is the integrity of the game. Now, here's things where it's going to be a little bit controversial, but I think, you know what, gun skins, you can already see them when you look at an enemy, you can already see them on the ground, and let's pretend, me and you, we've been playing Valorant for a hot minute, but let's say there's a new player and there's an Elder Flame Vandal on the ground, that new player won't know what the heck that gun is, it's literally just a freaking dragon and scales. But you know what, we get used to it, and we now know when I see the bubbly specter, it's a specter. I can see it from far, even in, but even then, sometimes skins can kind of hide the guns on the ground, but I digress, they're still part of the game. You know, if someone's holding a big sword, they will peek outside of a box. If someone's holding a short knife, they'll be able to tuck themselves into that box. It's already part of the game, and agent skins don't need to be any different. The only thing is that it will be slightly limiting, but most likely worth it. Let's say Sage. She has a ponytail. She has this kind of basic structure. They have to leave that basic structure. They have to make sure, let's say, the jacket might not be overly puffy or something that's misleading. They might not want to cut Sage's ponytail off and then give her short hair and then dye it red. It might be a little bit off-putting, sure, in that case. But even then, you see an enemy, you're going to shoot at them. Valorant isn't like Overwatch where you overly focus on a single agent in order to counter the team. So all in all, I do not believe it would breach competitive integrity. That is my take, but I would love to hear your takes down below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.